What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today, this is a this is a big video, folks. We are going to be talking about the absurdly stupid in my opinion XRP price predictions coming out right now. We also are going to be talking about a potential black swan event uh, that is coming up in August, right? And we're going to talk about how stupid it is to call it a black swan event. Uh, so just stay tuned in the video. We also have the ETH Jets beginning of the mint today. So you guys can actually go view the passes right now on OpenSea uh, right here. Passes look amazing. The art is very, very cool. And we have the uh, the Top Gun Mint at 1111 CST, uh, which is actually in like 20 minutes here. Um, then we also have tomorrow at 1111 AM CST, we have the pre-mint slash whitelist. So if you did sign up for the pre-mint or the whitelist, or if you earned whitelist, you will be able to mint tomorrow. Um, and then... You will be able to mint up to five captain and five global max during the pre-mint slash whitelist. And then on the 13th, we have the public mint. So that's for people who didn't uh, actually sign up for the pre-mint or earn Top Gun. So pay attention to the ETH Jets project minting in these next few days here. If you are a Top Gun, make sure you're minting today. Let's get into the daily market update. We're at $20,000 on Bitcoin. We're at 1.1K on Ethereum. 55 billion volume, 900 billion uh, market cap right there. As we can see, the altcoins, it's a mixed bag sort of today. Most stuff is down. Um, if we do look at that weekly chart, though, where most stuff is still up, like quant is still up big. We're at $76. We peaked out at almost $90. So we literally almost made it to that $100 on quant. I'm telling you, right when this goes back to 50, even 55, I might buy some right at 55 or or 50, preferably, or under 50, preferably. Um, you always want to get in as low as you can. Um, we did uh, actually play out this reversal, folks. What did I tell you? We were going to go up and come straight back down, and that's what we're doing. We're at 20,400 now. Uh, we did peak out at 22,500. 22, um, and this, I mean, that you guys watch that market cipher reversal symbol uh, basically did call this because now we are in this downtrend coming down, right? On the high can ashy candles, we kind of peaked out and now we've we've sort of reversed here. We'll see if it continues. If it does continue and we actually go like that, then that's a perfect uh, little call by market cipher right there. Once again, never base your investments or your trades off of just these symbols you have to look at other stuff um and we did look at other stuff when we looked at that reversal symbol now let's talk a little bit about elon elon po posted this meme uh it says they said i couldn't buy twitter then they wouldn't disclose the bot info now they want to force me to buy twitter in court now they have to disclose bot info in court and his face changes right there so he's trying to say that this is about the bots. This is about the bots on Twitter and th that he wants to know the bot info. That makes me think it's not about that because whatever Elon says, he's usually doing the opposite, right? And there's a really good clip by Richard Hart pointing out all the times that Elon has said something and then done the opposite. So I, I personally, I believe he was trying to show who owns Twitter uh, by doing this. I, I swear that I... That's just my intuition. He was trying to expose who actually owns Twitter. Um, and also might be trying to play with the SEC even more because he hates the SEC. Also, somebody posted an SEC meme below his thing and he replied to it. I, I do remember seeing that. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, right here. The SEC looking into this matter, and then it's Bart Simpson, and he's blind, and he puts 100, right? He puts the 100 emoji, and this is basically to... <laughs> Look, he's Elon says hello and tags the SEC, 
Um, <clears throat> insane. So he's, I think he's playing with the SEC, even with the Dogecoin price manipulation and the Bitcoin price manipulation. He's showing that there's a problem with influence. There's a, pr there's no regulations around influence and how one man can get all this fame and then use it to manipulate things. There's no regulations really around that. Um, so there you go with the Twitter stuff. Now let's talk about the black swan event. Now the first, first thing. So what this is, is the Mount Gox exchange is giving back some of the funds. They're dumping $3 billion, around $3 billion worth of Bitcoin. That's 137,000 Bitcoins uh, could be dumped onto the market eight years after the Mt. Gox, <clears throat> excuse me, after the Mt. Gox hack. Some are labeling this as the biggest black swan in Bitcoin history. Now, the thing is, a black swan is unpredictable. It, a, a black swan is an unpredictable event that is beyond what is normally expected of a situation and has potentially severe consequences. Unpredictable. We know exactly when they're going to dump this. Uh, by the way, Mt. Gox was originally founded by Jed McCaleb. <laughs> Just an interesting note right there. So they have $3 billion, right? They're going to dump this on the market and creditors who they're repaying basically have the option of receiving USD, Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash. It is estimated that creditors will start receiving funds as early as August. Okay. People are saying that this could be the cause or the catalyst to spark the flippening, which means ETH passing Bitcoin because a bunch of Bitcoin is going to be dumped. Hopefully, like any idiots who get who who receive their Bitcoin from Mt. Gox, like put it into other coins. Don't put it. Don't hold it in Bitcoin. Um, technically, they've been holding it in Bitcoin for eight years. So and then th this thread goes over a little bit of why they psychologically wouldn't sell it says it's unlikely the majority choose to sell i i low-key like i disagree i feel like they're going to dump it right away i would if i was waiting eight years for some funds i would dump it right away i'm cashing out that's free money eight years later um so this will affect the price if three billion dollars gets dumped on the market it will affect the price um, but the reason why I don't feel like we can call this a black swan is because it's predictable. We know it's going to happen. We know, okay, August, boom, it's going to happen or end of August. Um, however, it's, it is the, the severity is that of a black swan, uh, which is pretty crazy. So that's my thoughts on, uh, on that. It will dump the price. Um, I think the majority will choose to sell actually, uh, hopefully into ethereum or something else uh and as for the flippening thing it's like please do it like i want that super badly i i would i'm always on the side that that basically wants bitcoin to be flipped by ethereum absolutely this is actually getting pretty close here dude like we what do we have here 389 minus 138 like we got 250 billion dollars on market cap in between bitcoin and eth right now if they dump the three billion right now, dude, ETH might ETH might might just pass it. That would be crazy. That would be a real black swan. Now let's talk about these idiotic uh, XRP predictions. So basically, this Jimmy Valley dude, who's part of Vol Hill Capital, uh, who who has a uh, an interest in brainwashing the public because they're personally invested in XRP. Right. So what do we do as a firm? We should brainwash the public uh, because the only way that coins go up is the holders don't sell. You just hold, hold, hold. The price will increase. Um, so forget Jimmy Valley's price prediction of thirty five thousand. So this is the same dude who was going around saying thirty five thousand. OK, <clears throat> and then his new price target. I'm not even going to play this clip. But he does say in this video, his new price target is $50,000, $50,000. Now we, the XRP community is sort of split on here. The people who have a realistic brain and are not completely brainwashed 
realize that this is a very stupid thing to say and it's actually harmful to the community in my opinion very harmful in my opinion uh because first of all beginners like this has 230,000 views beginners are going to believe this they can just believe this and be they can buy the dream that he's selling he's selling a dream here everybody is selling a dream here because even if you have like 500 xrp and that thing goes to 50,000 like you're worth 25 million like it's such a dream it's such a, a cop out it's horrible dude to preach that to the community of malleable xrp holder minds it's bad it's real bad um because that that calculation right there can make somebody give up all of their dreams their hard work their business building their motivation it can make this calculation can make somebody give up all of that because they'll be like oh yeah xrp's got me jimmy valley oh yeah yeah it's good this has got me dude I, all i gotta do is hold ten thousand xrp and i'll be good like if you holding ten thousand <laughs> like it's just so stupid bro and this can give up this and i i know the reasons he's saying this like that's the main comment from people when I talk against this is like, well, dude, you haven't even listened to his, his reasoning. What are you talking about? A buyback, bro? If the Fed wants XRP, they can go buy it on the market for 40 freaking cents right now. Go buy it on the market for 40 cents. <laughs> go buy it on the market for 40 cents. It, it makes no sense, bro. Um, and maybe I'm just not understanding it, but it's just, I don't think we should talk about this at all. These stupid price predictions. And now it's being boosted up even more by this guy saying that XRP is going to go to 142,000 per token. Like what is going on here, dude? 142,000 per token. First of all, this makes the community look horrible, right? And it's harmful to beginners in the community. Absolutely stupid predictions right here um however we do have a good clip from quincy right here which i'm gonna play um and this is him tr basically trying to justify these hundred thousand dollar prices uh listen to what he says it is a very good clip and it is very true watch this so anybody out there that's telling you they'll know where the price of xrp will go has no idea zero zero absolutely zero clue but i'll give you a tiny hint of an idea of what could happen so xrp is only it's a financial instrument of value and that instrument is basically the instrument's really liquidity between different other instruments like bonds stocks currencies all the, the everything basically yeah. and the xrp is only worth the value of the things that are issued on it because it would cost xrp to buy those things on the network and use that liquidity mm -hmm. so what ends up happening here is not only do you have to issue all of the equity but you've also got to issue all of the debt so XRP is only bound by the fiscal uh, responsibility of the people that issue assets on it, which is obviously irresponsible. So XRP could be at $100, $100,000, $1,000,000. It depends on how many assets you want to issue onto the network. So if you want to issue, you know, $100 trillion worth of uh, equity, cool. That's a lot of money on the network. What happens if they want to issue another $500 million worth of debt? That also adds value to the network. So there really is a mind-blowing amount of wealth, essentially, that can basically be flowing through these networks that we can't even comprehend because of that debt question of being able to issue more and more and more value uh, in the form of... Pretty insane. So that's like valid reasoning why that could happen. But still, that that that's basically saying that we need all of that stuff to be on issued on the XRP ledger. And that's the bet that you're making, is that it will so that's the bet that that's that we're making is that it will eventually take over the world and have all of that on there <clears throat> so pretty crazy stuff going on right now we also have the flare launch happening so this is uh flare will be going into observation mode and this is the time where it will be tested and become fully decentralized um at the genesis of the flare uh go main net going live the Flare Foundation will operate all network validators. So it will be 100% centralized. And then over these eight weeks, it's going to get more decentralized until uh, sufficient validation power has been passed to external validators such that Flare Foundation is no longer in control of the network. 
i.e. not more than 33% of uh, validation power controlled by Flair. Then they will do the token distribution. Um, after this is the public token distribution event after we exit observation mode so that airdrop is probably coming in eight weeks from now or whenever observation mode starts um, so that's very interesting i'm excited uh, for flare to get it going flare is an underrated interoperability play very very good uh, project right there there's going to be passive income opportunities as well um, it's just been so long of waiting right we also have BitBoy talking about Voyager. Voyager has just sent out an email that people are going to get some of their money back. <clears throat> so anybody who's on uh, who's on Voyager with money, you're going to get pro rata share of crypto, pro rata share of proceeds uh, from the 3AC recovery. And you could read the email that they've sent you, but this might take years. This might take years is what BitBoy is saying. Speaking of years, we have the Mt. Gox people finally getting their money back. Uh, the Mt. Gox people, took it took a while to get their money back. Um, but that is basically all we got for today's daily market update. Remember that the ETH Jets Mint is going on. Today, we also have um, some decent buying opportunities in the market, I'm, I guess. Like, keep on keep watching that quant price right h bar is still at six cents great accumulation point um but that is all we've got make sure that you drop a like comment subscribe all that bullshit i love every single one of you and goodbye Crow.